Question 18 is also problems on related rates, but this time it is about population growth. Now here they have given us the population grows according to the equation P prime of T equals 2 times P of T 1 minus P of T. This is the logistic growth equation, but here it should be R, but the R value is already given to be 2, so we substitute 2 over here. Otherwise, we know the rate of population, population growth rate is given like this. Now find the population for which the growth rate is maximum and interpret it graphically. Now, even if you don't do it graphically, there are plenty other ways to solve it. Because you can see we will do the exercise problems, we can do short, um, short ways other than graph methods, you know. But now the first thing is to make uh, this equation simpler to understand, we can just write it as function of p. This is 2 times. Now what I will do is instead of writing p of t all the time because I'm taking it as a function of population already, I just write it as p into 1 minus p. This is, you can just multiply it inside, it will be 2p minus 2p squared. This is the function of p. Now here you need to find the point at which it is growth rate is maximum. This is the growth rate, right? You need to find where, which point it will become maximum. That's the only thing. Now, which point, how do we find any maximum or minimum points? It's by deriving this and making the derived part equal to zero. So let's derive this. F dash of P equals 2 minus 4P. Now make this equal to zero and solve for P. This is the point. Now we can just take it to the other side. 4P equals 2. So P is equal to 2 by 4. That is half. At P equals half. At this particular point, it is maximum. Now how do we check it? You can do it graphically and see whether it is, you know, this would be a parabola, isn't it? So this is a parabola. So if it's concaving downwards, if it's, uh, you know, opening downwards, then you will have a maximum point. Whereas if it's opening upwards, you will have a minimum point. But another way is, you know, you can do the number line method and, you know, take test value. This is half, take test value of zero and say one and check it out. If it's increasing, decreasing, then you have a maximum value. The another method, the easier method is double derivative. The reason doing double derivative is, look at the derived equation. It's just a linear function. It's very easy to derive it. Let's double derive it. When you double derive it, what's going to happen? It is, uh, this becomes zero, it will be minus four. Now this is less than zero, right? If it is less than zero, what is it? It is concaving. Double derivative is less than zero. That means it's concaving downwards less means downwards but look at this graph if it's concaving downwards it will have a maximum point yes so this is the maximum point so that is how we can solve it the most important thing is the critical number is p equals half so that is the thing we need to solve for you can see over here the p equals half over here we just derived it that's it and uh, when you graph it you can see here uh, it is the parabola is opening downwards, isn't it? It's if you continue to like it looks like a downward graph. And now you can see here they have told P, where is P over here at half? See, this is basically already rate. Now we derived this at this particular point at 0 0.1. The slope is maximum compared to everything, you know, slope is maximum. So that is uh, what is explained over here. But anyways, if you understand what I told earlier, that's more than enough. You can easily find this and prove it its maximum. And over here, some more information is given. You can just go through this. Now we will solve this problem. Here the logistic equation is given. P prime of T equals 4P times 5 minus P. So we need to find the population when the population growth rate is maximum. So we need to find the critical number. So let's write it as F of P equals 4P phi minus p and now first let's simplify this multiply this 4 inside will be 20 times p minus 4 p power 2 this is f of p now we need to derive it find the f prime it will be 20 minus 8 p this is it now you can find the critical number by making this equal to 0 what's the answer it will be uh, take this to the other side it will be 
p equals 20 divided by 8 uh, the table of 4 goes in, goes in this 4, 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so this is the critical number now how do you check whether it's maximum so you can do double derivative f double derivative of p equals yeah, I'm just directly doing it over here minus 8 so minus 8 is less than 0 so you can say it is concaving concaving downwards if it concaving downwards then maximum point only can exist so maximum point therefore you have just proven it is maximum and you can see over here also they have not done the graphs yeah see it's just that um they have they have done different methods yeah they, they have just told it's opening downwards yes basically you can easily do the double derivative test and prove it to be maximum so that is how we can solve this please do try this by yourselves it's just the same problem same type all you need to do is multiply this inside and then derive it up and find the critical number so here you can see when you derive this it will be 14 14 times now this is already derived it will be 14 times 14 p minus 4 p squared and then when you derive you'll get 14 minus 8 p and then it will be 7 by 4 because both uh, two tables goes in this 7 by 4 is the critical number just double derive it and find whether it's less than 0 if it's less than 0 then yes there is only maximum point because it concaves downwards that is the end of this simple problem please do practice all the problems by yourself write and solve it will be much easier